They say the seas are like only six or seven right now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. They say when we get out of the little river channel, it might get a little nasty, but it's only for about a half mile, three quarters of a mile. A lot of ducks in the area, surf scoter, the first for everything. Y'all wish us luck. Say your prayers. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. The thoughts inside my head are rearranged. Cause I don't know if I can live without you. It's surf scarters. We've never done it before. I'm literally seeing bridges that I've been going over for years to San Francisco or Oakland watching the Giants or the A's play baseball games. And now we're out on the bay next to the Pacific Ocean. Surf scarters are exciting. They're fast flyers. They come out of nowhere. They're skimming the water tops. You got to be a good shooter. You got to be on your A game. I think we're up for the challenge. Let's see what happens. Here's a pair. Get ready, guys. Hey, Beautiful boys. Said you save a dime a day and build a log cabin down there by the river. Raise the kids the best there is and I will. Get him. Get him. Nice shot. Table fare. There's no way you could persuade me that a, that a surf scouter is good eating. It's actually really good, and we get that all the time, Chad. It's amazing how many people um, turn their nose up at these birds. But the, the main thing with surf scouter, sea ducks, and diver ducks is to get the skin off. You can't roast these ducks with the skin on. It's very important to get the skin off. If you get the skin off, though, it's like eating steak. Come on, give me a recipe right now. I will, okay. No, say it, let me hear right. it, because as soon as you say it, I'm gonna follow okay. it, and people are gonna follow along you, with us. You take the breast meat, okay? Okay, so just just like a regular deal, get the skin. Yeah. Skin's gonna get a little bit tougher than a normal puddle duck, this, probably. This skin is really easy to peel. Oh, it is, okay. Absolutely, it's, a, it's as easy, if not easier, than a puddle duck. You take the scoter breast and pound them flat, white cheddar Cheez-Its as the crust, and then- Little hard, egg batter? Little egg batter, hard fry them. Just a flash fry real quick, yep. medium rare still. Yep. yep, and they're killer. Yep. And obviously a lot of guys turn them to sausage. They make sausage out of them. We're, we really encourage people to make use of these birds. I mean, that's Heck why yeah. we're doing it. That's you what know? I want to know a recipe. It, it's a great resource. Um, it's great wing shooting. And it, it, you know, if you can figure out how to cook them, you're, you're good. And, it, and it, they really are edible. One thing I've learned for sure in all of our travels, waterfowl hunting all over continental America and Canada, South America, is you never try to guide the guide. If RJ says to get these things in some cheese it crackers and make a sandwich out of them, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So here we are, we have our surf scoter. We just took it out of the vacuum seal. My brother Clay is right here. And what he's doing is he's is flattening these out before we tenderize them. So if you pound on them a little bit, you're gonna see the difference. He's pounded out a couple of these surf scoter breasts and you can see the difference in the thickness and the size, how they flatten out perfect for a sandwich. After we pound these out, we're gonna tenderize yeah, them with a little tenderizer. tenderizer needle. And then we're gonna have our, our little egg wash here. We're gonna put them in the egg and then right into the cheese at cracker. But before we do that, we're gonna take a couple of our provider rubs. We're gonna oh, use yeah. the fowl and the covey and mix it in with the crackers just to give it a little bit of that extra provider zest. So here we go, let's finish pounding those out. Sounds like a percussion section at a Motley Crue concert. Tommy Lee, all right, tenderizing them. These things are slick right here. Quick, 
kind of penetrates the meat and what it allows you to do is when you start to get it into that olive oil, whatever your flavor is going to be, those dry rubs will get down in there and it just allows all those flavors to really get ingrained in the meat. So I'm a big fan of tenderizing duck breast, especially when it's a strange meat to me like surf scoter. I'm still not sold on this stuff yet because uh, I've never had it, but RJ swears by it. Yeah, so check out that patty now. So that's going to go right into that hot Napa Valley olive oil flash fry with that cheese it breading on it with those provider rubs. I'm excited. Onto a bun, white onion, mustard. We got a little horseradish sauce. We got Traeger sweet heat barbecue sauce. Of course, some pickles, white onion, like I said. We're gonna have a little sandwich. We don't really put a lot of cheese on fried sandwiches. You can if you want. You can add pepper jack or provolone, whatever you think, but um, we're choosing not to go the cheese route today. We wanna get the full flavor of that surf scoter. When I first met you, we were on a sea duck hunt right off of the bay. I mean, like literally I've driven across that bridge by Vallejo. I don't know how many times going to the Bay Area, San Francisco Giants games, Oakland A's games, and you know, everything that we do down in that part of the country, we cross that bridge and all of a sudden you and I are set up on this rock wall. And, and, and tell me a little bit about what you were feeling that day. Well, I think we were a little bit, both a little bit out of our element there, you know, and, and uh, nobody really practiced shooting off a rock either. But uh, yeah, those things were quick and kind of reminded me of a skeet shot. The scoters of. were all just left to right boogieing. Right. Even though they were coming into the wind, they were still moving. And they were, yeah, and then you don't hit them well. I mean, they're a diver duck. They're going to dive on you. Yeah. So, I mean, when they're going out there to retrieve them, I mean, you got to hit them good or, or you know. Do you, and clean up a cripple fast. Pretty. And the weeds always high and the air is dry as a bone. Right here, Tyson, right here, right here. Right here. Get him. Cleaning them out. <laughs> I think the first shot. That first shot, I think I I think they just took the whole middle out of them. <laughs> How about that, Mark? Give me nice. That. that was awesome. Give me that. <laughs> So we're gonna, you can see we're gonna go in both sides on that cornstarch to the egg dip. And very important on the egg dip, you don't wanna just take it out and then flop it right into your cheese it or whatever breading you're using. You wanna hold it over the top and shake it. Let a lot of that run off. You can see a lot of that cornstarch just gets stuck to it. And now we're gonna finalize the three-step approach 
with getting that breading on both sides. Then we'll grab another plate to I put those on. I got one. Put those on a, uh, a plate and get them ready for the grease. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. So you can see we went with the olive oil here with our buddies at Napa Valley. A lot of people don't fry in olive oil. It's got a low burn ratio and rate, but we got this at 350 degrees. And what I love about frying with it is the flavor. It's gonna make these surf scoter sandwiches absolutely pop off. So I'm gonna have Clay come in here with his tongs and we're gonna start dipping these in that hot grease. Listen to that sizzle. Oh, baby. So as you can tell, these are gonna go really quick. After I got done tenderizing and panning out, they're only quarter inch thick, so it's not going to take a minute, maybe two minutes each side, and you're going to be done. So have a thermo pin. Maybe if, once you get the hang of it, if you don't have a thermo pin, just take it out and cut one open, and then go from there on the time. So this is, I've been in here maybe two minutes right here on this. I just flipped them. Another two minutes, and we'll see how the taste they are. Check it. Look good. You go first. Go first. Surf Scoter. It's delicious. RJ was right. <laughs> Gonna be good on a sandwich. Let's make up these sandwiches. I got these last ones coming off right here. Check this out now. Here's what we're gonna do. Look at the color of that bun. We're gonna go with a little horseradish. You don't need much because provider rubs and that surf scoter. Nice little flavor profile here. Little Traeger Sweet Heat barbecue sauce. Again, not overdoing it. Last but not least, as far as the condiments go, is a little yellow mustard. Mm -hmm. White onion. A little much right there. I'm gonna get a napkin ready. Pickles. Check that out. Ooh. Right there. Bam. Surf mm -hmm. scoter sandwich. I gotta do it. I just no, gotta do it. T -t 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 oh, that's messed up right there. Mmm. Hold on. We're good. What do you want to cut some off? Yeah. All day. Never thought I'd say this, but surf scooter. Surf scooter, pretty <laughs> dang good. Cheers. Cheers. Check that out, Surf Scoter from the San Francisco Bay. JR and team, thank you so much. California Waterfowl, Rocky Merlot. For more recipes like this Surf Scoter sandwich, <laughs> all of the ways that we prepared the bread, the batter, the breading, everything that went into this, check out theproviderlife.com and brand new episodes of The Provider right now on Mo TV, My Outdoor TV. Subscribe and check out Fill the Table. We're hunting them, we're grilling them, <laughs> we're eating them, we're having a blast with friends and family and that's what this hunting lifestyle is all about. TheProviderLife.com, Chad Belding, Clay Belding. Again, JR, thank you. Surf Scoter Sandwiches coming right up.